Hi everybody, it's Emily. Welcome to Art with M. Uh, today I decided to take my oldest ever digital art piece and redraw it. And I actually redraw it twice in this video. Um, this piece I made on Sumo Paint about seven years ago, actually a little over seven years ago, seven years and a month or so at this point. And you can see I'm like showing the type of lines I was able to get. I actually did this piece with a mouse um, originally using Sumo Paint and the way I got the different line weights was using an eraser and it took me so long just to do this little doodle. Um, I don't remember how long it took but I just remember sitting there for hours to do this. Um, and I still think it looks pretty cute. Like it's not the best and I don't really know how to do chibi but um, I still like the piece. Um, but I decided to redraw it because it's been forever. So on the right side of the screen you can see that I um, did like a structural sketch based on the original. Um, just to get the proportions right because these chibi proportions are so far off from what I currently do that I didn't think I'd be able to do it from scratch like this with the giant head. It's like almost a one to one head to body ratio which is just ridiculous. Um, so I really think that those guidelines helped. Um, and then here I am just using a tablet <laughs> to actually get line variation and just making, making line art that's more in line with what my current style is. Um, and I definitely use more line now than I did in the original because let's be honest it would have been even longer if I had done like any uh, suggestion of the strands of hair and the ponytail or anything like that it it would have been way too much but with the power of a tablet I was able to get a lot more detail in the new chibi version this was probably sped up too much for it to be visible but I'm actually working at uh, twice the original canvas size just to get more of that detail in there because as I showed at the very beginning when I was zooming in and panning around the canvas it's very low res and just a, it's a very small image so I scaled up the canvas size I believe to double it might have been times four I'm not entirely sure um, and once I finished the line art which takes forever because drawing hands are the worst. <laughs> I had so much trouble with these like cutesy hands. Probably, I mean, I have trouble with normal semi-realistic or realistic hands anyway because most people do, but I had even more trouble with these like cutesy stubbly hands and they're not even as stubbly as the original ones, which were just like mitten, mittens, little, little, fleshy mittens for grabbing things um which is kind of creepy in retrospect um and i'm trying to recreate this chibi as close to the original in pose as possible so like even those ribbons are super close to where they were and the strands of hair and stuff and now i'm coloring and i decided to change the colors a bit because the original color palette is super pastel and probably oversaturated in some places, especially on the bow and the tights. Um, so I decided to start out with darker colors, like basically co uh, color picking from the original and then making a darker and more uh, less saturated version of it and using that to paint the base. I do go back later and tweak it but I wanted to start out with a more muted color palette just for j just for aesthetics sake because I didn't want to completely remake the drawing exactly the same. I did want to bring some new knowledge to it. So a little, little bit of color theory in there. Um, and I had no idea when doing this which version of my style I was going to use because I don't know what my style is. Um, so like for my digital paintings, I'll have a sort of 
painterly uh, type of style that I used for the cloud girl in my video from three weeks ago, I believe. And that probably did not suit this piece that well because of the super deformed, cutesy, over, like overly stylized style that it's in. So I think I, I should have done the cell shading like I did in the original on this one instead of this like painterly thing. Though I did keep the bold um, outlines, whereas my, my painterly style, air quotes on painterly, that's just what I'm calling it for the sake of distincting it from my more um, aligned style. Um, my painterly style usually doesn't have lines. It's much softer. And I do change the color of the lines here, but they're still visible. They're still darker than the, the rest of the colors. Um, so I don't know if um, this particular coloring technique works for this super deformed, chibi, cutesy thing, but uh, that's how it is. And then I decided to take her nose away because chibi looks weird with a nose. Um, so <laughs> I actually had a harder time getting the pose down um, using my normal style. I scribbled something there and I have no idea what it said. Probably how do you anatomy or what is this pose? Um, because looking at the pose again and trying to figure out how a actual human body would be able to make this pose was a difficult journey and I re-sketched and re-sketched and re-sketched to try to get the pose to look right and I detached her legs right there and moved them around and just it took me quite a few false starts to actually get the pose anywhere close to how I wanted it to be. And you can see even once I do have the pose sketched it's very roughly it's with a huge brush huge print, pencil brush and uh, then I go over on another layer with a darker smaller pencil brush to refine it more and more and um, I only do that twice in this drawing I think I only do a preliminary sketch and then a second sketch before adding color right here but sometimes I'll do three or even four sketches if I really want to refine it and refine it um, so by this point I had kind of decided that I was doing a lineless piece um, which I regret later in the video and changed my mind but um, at this point I decided I was doing my painterly style again and I start uh, like I merge everything down into one layer the sketch on top of the color layers and I start going in with like a, a, an oil uh, an oil paint brush um, or a gouache brush, I don't remember which, and try and add shading and highlights and render and refine. And I started getting frustrated with how that was looking. So I started over by just going in with a black inking brush for some line art, uh, just classic lined piece. Um, and I think that came out a lot better. Um, I think the painterly style would be better if I wasn't trying to create such a cutesy piece. Like here I'm not going with the super deformed thing, but I didn't think the painterly style had the kind of mood that I wanted. It's, it's a more serious style I find. So I think the line out art was more, lent, it lent itself better to the more cartoony, uh, lighthearted mood that I wanted. Um, and I just, it's been a while since I've done line art that I know is going to stay there digitally. I, I do a lot of uh, inking traditionally. Um, I really enjoy that, but lately my digital pieces have been either 3D stuff for class or my more painterly ones. So it was refreshing to come back and just do some digital line art. I'm really proud of how this foot came out. <laughs> I posted it on Instagram. I don't think I've ever drawn a foot this good ever. 
because feet are just as hard as hands, if not harder. That foot's pretty good, too. Just really, I, I don't know. The, the feet just happened. They just happened to work out. And um, I pointed this out for the chibi redraw that I tried to keep the little ribbons on her sash in the same place, but in this one I want, I decided it was better to uh, just let them flow where I felt was natural. Um, and I did make a change between the original and this redraw. I changed her, her sash to actually be a belt and not just a bow on the back of her dress because I, I just decided to make that fashion design choice when redrawing it and I, I think I like it better. Um, and then I went back in a different layer for the line art. Um, like I, I made a second layer for the line art for the finer details like her hair and um, some of the lines on her dress like the creases and stuff um and this point I'm just trying to make a selection so I can uh get the base colors the flats down so that'll be easier to shade um and I chose the right color for her hair and then just chose an arbitrary color that would be easy to see for her skin so that it would be easier to um erase it cleanly and make sure it was all in the right places. Um, this is like half a redraw, half random bits of tutorial information. <laughs> I hope everyone is okay with that. I'm prone to rambling and I hope the rambling is helpful. Um, and then I, I color picked from the like shadows on the original drawing to get these colors, but I did tweak them a little bit. Um, and I think the colors I picked in the redraw were better um, than the original. Not that there's anything wrong with the pastel, super saturated, cutesy thing. I just don't work that way as much anymore. I like a slightly more muted palette. Um, and here I'm going in and doing cell shading, which is what I should have done on the chibi version of the redraw, but it's it's too late to swap those styles now. And I considered um, blending in the shading a little bit, and I think that's gonna happen in just a moment. You'll see me start to go in with a mixer brush and blend on her face, yeah, right there. And then I decided, mm, no, I don't think I want to do that. And I decided to just uh, change the color of the shadows after the fact to make them a little less harsh. Um, and shading her dress and picking a lighter color for the highlights on her stockings and sash. And just adding a few more details, um, adding a little bit more shading. And then I'm going to go back and add highlights in a little bit. I think I might do that act after the line art actually. But I changed the color of the line art again like I did with the last one. And then I uh, use an overlay. I believe I'm using an overlay for those highlights on a lower opacity. Um, and then I Cop duplicate all those layers and merge them as a group and do some overlays on a clipping mask for more uh, global highlights and shadows. So there's like that warm yellow glow on one side and then there's a, a darker shadow on the other side. And then after that I just uh, tweak the background color and I'm done. And there's the original, the chibi redraw, and the final redraw. And thank you so much to everyone who watched my sketchbook tour, my most recent video. I have never had a, vi a video get 1500 views before. I know that's probably small, but it's big for me. And just thanks so much for everyone who watched that video and enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed this one too. Bye!